September 5, 1942, Hitler's Nazis struck North America in a brazen attack that few people know of. The target? The Bell Island Iron Mine and the merchant marine ships transporting the vital iron ore to the Allies. So when the war started in 1939, we stopped selling it to the Germans. They didn't like that. They torpedoed these four ore ships. Wreckwatch explores the wreck of the SS Saganaga, the first victim in the Conception Bay, Newfoundland attack by U-513. Newfoundland and Labrador is a stunning land of rugged beauty. The most eastern province of Canada is known for its hospitality, incredible food, fishing, whale watching, and so much more. But what many people forget is the important roles that Newfoundland played for the Allies in World War II and the tragic attacks it suffered in 1942 from German U-boats. Bell Island is the largest island of Conception Bay on the eastern shore of Newfoundland and Labrador. During World War II, the Bell Island Mine was one of five strategically important sites on the island that were feared to be targets of the Germans. We're getting ready to go into the largest submarine mine in North America. This one goes three miles underneath the ocean. Bell Island is the jewel of Conception Bay. It had 13,000 people working there in the mine in its day. And of course, how can we tell a story of the wrecks without telling the story of the mines? True enough, huh? true enough. So during the Second World War, Bell Island played a major role because we were selling our iron ore to the U.S. and Britain, and they were building their ships and their tanks and their weapons with it. Saganaga, what I would call typical merchant marine cargo ship from that time leading up to the war and during the war, very important to the delivery of, of iron for the Allies during the war. But oddly, that iron was produced and sold to Germany before the war. Now between 1930, in 1939, Germany was our biggest customer. And we had no idea that they were bringing it back to Germany. They were stockpiling it and getting ready for our war. So when the war started in 1939, we stopped selling it to the Germans. They didn't like that. So in 1942, they sent over a couple of submarines and they torpedoed these four warships. The Saganaga, which was the first one sank by Captain Ralph Rugenberg, they struck her right in the boilers here. Unfortunately, there was a lot of loss of life on the uh, Saganaga, but because they were loaded down with iron ore, all these four ships are upright and intact because of the weight down in the keels. Because of the connection with this mine and the wrecks and this story, it is truly a national historic event that happened here. We tell this story and people go away with this great sense that holy geez this happened on our shores right here in Newfoundland you know in Canada we're, we're getting the message out there and now Parks Canada is on board and so this story is it's only gonna pardon the pun blow up <laughs> for many divers the Bell Island wrecks are the holy grail of Atlantic Canada diving so when we got the call from Rick at Ocean Quest Adventures and from Newfoundland and Labrador Tourism inviting us out we jumped at this once in a lifetime chance to dive these wrecks. My good friend sea hunter Mike Fletcher, my wife Danielle and I quickly grabbed our gear and headed out. So we just landed, we met Rick, it's been a whirlwind, now we are out for our first dive adventure. So we'll see what happens. Welcome to, uh, welcome to Conception Bay. Hi, I'm uh, Jason Suley, dive master in training, almost complete. Uh, hi, I'm John Olivero, everyone here calls me Johnny O. I'm the Chief Happiness Officer of Ocean Quest Adventures. I'm uh, Rick Stanley's right-hand man. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Rick, I think they said it all. <laughs> we set out for our first dive in the Bell Island wrecks, and Rick introduced Mike and I to the SS Saganaga. All right, guys, so we're heading for the SS Saganaga. The SS Saganaga was a British steam merchant ship built in 1935. At this time during the war, she was tasked with hauling 8,300 tons of iron ore from Bell Island to Sydney, Nova Scotia. September 5, 1942 was what seemed to be a normal Saturday for the crew of 44. The Saganaga and the Canadian ship, the Lord Strathcona, were loaded with their cargo of iron ore and sitting at anchor, unaware that the German U-boat U-513 was silently making its way into Conception Bay. Then, at 11.46 a.m., 
the Saginaga suddenly exploded as the first torpedo from U-513 struck the ship, hitting its boilers, sending men and decking high into the air. Then just moments later, a second torpedo from the German sub hit the ship, nearly cutting her in two, sinking the Saginaga and 29 members of her crew in just 30 seconds. Uh, this wreck is 407 feet from stem to stern. At the deck level, we're at 70 feet. Right to the mud is about 100 feet. Some interesting things to see on this one. These are two cargo holds, and then we have a gun, 4.7 inch bore, and she's about you know, 12, 14 feet long. Very interesting life around us. Uh, lots of sea anemones. But this here was where the torpedo struck. And you can see on the scan here, she cracked her back. Have you got any questions? So have a good dive. Great, thank you. Give her to you shiver, we like to say around here. <laughs> Descending the downline in the salty cold Atlantic waters of Conception Bay, the remains of the Saganaga slowly began to appear in the dark green gloom. Johnny took Mike to the bosun locker as Jason and I swam aft. We passed over the huge cargo holds filled with iron as we made our way toward the stern. The twisted metal all around shows the terrible carnage the torpedoes caused when they struck the Saganaga. Now covered with the sea anemones who have turned this disaster into their home. The stern gun, still standing on guard, was enshrouded with anemones, almost completely obscuring it. While I was looking at the gun, Mike and Johnny found the large anchor that some suspect was thrown high in the air from the explosion before landing on the deck and is now home to a very content lungfish. Seeing the damage, the ripped apart metal, the heavy equipment almost casually strewn about the deck, you begin to understand the destructive power of the torpedoes and the terror that would have filled both the men on board and those around who witnessed it. As I'm diving, I'm seeing all of the incredible sea life. The anemones, the fish surrounding it. For something so horrible, it is also quite beautiful. Luke, a friend of Ocean Quest was with us and showed me where a wolf fish was hiding among the wreckage. You can see him right down there looking at me. I shine my flashlight right on him. I'm like, whoa. Sure. You see his teeth? Yeah. yeah. Oh. And then I, was started to, I started to think, ah, uh, maybe he doesn't want this like shine on his face. <laughs> That's a great I, they, I started to think, why do they call him a wolf fish? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's exactly why. Diving on this amazing piece of history, this time capsule from another age at the bottom of Conception Bay was truly breathtaking. And to see all of the new marine life that's on it, that's reclaimed it, there's just something so peaceful being down here. 
And really, it should be peaceful. It is a grave. We made our way back to the surface, thrilled to have made the dive of a lifetime on the first of the four Bell Island wrecks. You dove on a ton of these. <laughs> yes, I've seen a lot of war wrecks. Yeah, how does this, this one rank? It's, it's a really good one. Yeah. There's a lot there, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's in protected waters here, so it's really stood up well. Yeah. Yeah. So many of them just break apart. Rick and the Ocean Quest Adventures team are absolutely incredible. We would like to thank Newfoundland and Labrador Tourism for making this video possible. And very special thanks to Rick and Debbie and all of the Ocean Quest Adventures crew. This was just the first dive on an amazing trip. So make sure you subscribe, like, and hit that notifications bell to be sure to see our tour of the Bell Island Mines and our dive on the Lord Strathcona. Thanks for watching, and remember, deep down, we care.